Welcome to Sit and Chat Online. My name is Purity Murungi and you're watching the Youth Cafe. In the recent past, we have been served on news, social media platforms, television, not just in our context but across the globe of very sad news. Young people taking their lives, not just young. Their profile is of high achievers. And the question that has been coming up in various quarters is, you know, this person was this, this person was a highly achieved young person or a young professional. They have achieved so much within a very short time. Um, and the question that keeps coming, what is the disconnect? In fact, the Resa May, the Prime Minister of the UK, has recently appointed a old minister for suicide prevention. And besides that, attached a very high budget, millions of, 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 of dollars to the same, to ensure that people do not kill themselves. The question we need to ask ourselves is, what is the disconnect then between high achieving and living a full life or a fruitful, a productive, a fulfilling life? Unfortunately, the things that uh, the world uh, ascribe or, or look at as uh, high achievements, they may not necessarily be the, the, the real things because in the heart of every human being, there is a vacuum. The human being has been created with a vacuum. And this vacuum cannot be filled with high achievements in quotes, according to the world. Uh, uh, climbing the, the ladder of success at a very high speed in terms of career, you're driving your dream, your dream car in, within a very short uh, period, you have the wife or the husband of your dream, you have uh, children that you dreamt about, that vacuum cannot be filled with material uh, things. The other thing we need to look at, we live in a world where people are not willing to commit to anything consistently. When we talk about high achievement, let's say a young person, a young professional that has climbed the ladder at a very high speed, you have not taken the background check, ask yourself questions like, this is the generation where people connect on the social media space, they date on the social media space, some of them have never seen eye to eye, they don't know how this person appears, and they actually also drop each other on the same platform. What do you expect such a person will go through? They are not able to marry their high achievement and this young man or this young lady that have just dropped them on the social media platform they say i am not willing to continue with you in a relationship we only look at the surface the death this person is driving the biggest machine in town but maybe they have been dropped from a relationship on the social media space who do they talk to? We live in a generation where we, we interact with ghosts. Ghosts in terms of people that we do not see face to face. You know, this interaction, face to face interaction, God created human beings for relationships. So some of the things that we need to be asking ourselves is not why did this person kill themselves you know they have been highly achieved we need to ask ourselves critical questions even at the family level how are our children relating how are their lives are you spending quality time with with human beings not a thousand followers on twitter whom you have never met five thousand friends on facebook who give you virtual cake when your birthday comes you have 500 cakes, but none, no physical cake to eat. So it's time that we began having candid conversations. Now I began by saying that the human being has been created with a vacuum. The only person that can fill that vacuum is God. 
you may achieve all you want in life, but you need to find your identity in Christ, in God. It has been researched and said, a people that have um, a connection with a supreme being, whatever you call that, with God, even in the hospital beds, they heal faster, they have a hope. Why? Because you need God because your script, he has the script of your life. He knows you from the beginning to the end. He knows your tomorrow. He has answers to the questions that you're asking, sometimes that no human being can ask. These people, even at the hospital bed that have a personal uh, connection with God, they heal faster. It has been, it's research that has been uh, verified. So achieving in life is great, material things, because that is what God would want us to do, to thrive, not to survive, achieve in life. But the ultimate reason that you are created is to worship him. If you look at the book of Psalm 100, in fact, the Bible says that you are created for him and for him to worship him. So if you can be able to find your way to connect with your maker, then you will live a fruitful and a very productive life. Because the fallacy of high achievers is real. High achieving without your connection with the maker, there will always be that disconnect. And meaning in life is ultimately found in connecting with God. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you will be able to connect with God because you will ultimately get your meaning, your identity, because he is your maker, he has your script, and in, only in him can you find real meaning in life. Because the things that you've accumulated, the wealth that you've accumulated, you hear people have touched billion of shillings or dollars or euros or pounds out of their countries, you wonder, how much can one human being use? You die and leave those things. But if you find your connection with God, you're even able to share what God entrusts to you with the rest of the world. Thank you for watching. My name is Purity Murungi. You can connect with us on our social media platforms. We are going to engage you, answer the questions that you have. And if you've been contemplating taking away your life, there is a reason for you to be alive. Don't die. Don't die for anything or for anyone. Talk to us at the inbox section on Facebook our platform, our sit and church online, Twitter, Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we are going to engage you and pray for you and help you even connect with your God more. Thank you for watching. God bless you.